Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is May 31st, 2020, and it is time to end May's budget and close it out and get ready for next month's budget. If you are new to the channel, I am Tasha. I'm also called the Single Spoonie Mom, and here I do um, everything from planning and budgeting and saving and shopping, and you'll be seeing more content coming out for me uh, in the next few weeks. So let's get started. I have my Happy Planner budget book here. I'm just going to flip to the month of May. And I could check off on this page. This is where um, I keep my bills as opposed to keeping them on the um, on the actual dates. I write them out as a list with the dates on the side and then I check them off as they get paid. So I could go ahead and check off that last one that got paid and it is ready to move on to the next part of the of the budget. I did avoid paying uh, buying K-Cups all month so I'm just gonna put a I did great in there that I did do that monthly budget challenge. As you see I have my savings and deposits here um, that I put in in the beginning of the month that has changed a little bit um, because I did take the rest of the money from my stimulus check and added it to my savings and my sinking funds account. So these balances are a little bit different and that will reflect in the beginning of June. I have all of my income broken down up here by the different types of income that I receive. That's my son's child benefits, child support, child support. That is a um, Amazon rebate and the money for my books and that is a uh, what was that? That was a Vizio TV settlement that I got for being part of the class action suit against uh, Vizio TV for privacy um, flaws um, and then I bought a rebate so I added it all up. My income, of course, I got one paycheck early. I got it back in April. So my beginning balance was very high because it had the stimulus check and the, 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 my Social Security check both in there. So it was quite high and that's why I'm missing my Social Security payment in this breakdown of my income from the month. Um, and the income is lower than it would normally be in a month because I did get paid back in April. And I do my budgets by month instead of paychecks. All my weekly expenses have been totaled up at the bottom, as you see here, and color-coded. And then on the last page here, I've totaled all of those color codes up so that I could... Um, do my worksheet, my end of the month budget worksheet. As you see, I entered in the income sources in here as well to get the same amount that I had before. I also have the beginning balance at the top. When I figure out my um, income minus expenses, I will include the beginning balance as part of income and then subtract all the expenses from it to get my um, end balance. So here we have everything paid off here with the exact amounts in. Um, the rent, it's $535.88 because I did get a money order from Walmart, which was $0.88 cents for the money order. So that's why that is a little bit higher. My Vectron bill came in. Um, just about where I expected it to. Vectron is my uh, electricity. 
Uh, my internet bill came in where I expected it to. Netflix, Amazon Prime. Now I am doing something a little bit different with Amazon Prime, without, which I'll explain in a moment. Uh, Hulu, Disney Plus, Amazon Music, Track Phone, which is my cell phone. And then a second Amazon Prime amount that I paid. What I did was I found out that if you have a EBT card or a Medicaid card, you can actually get Amazon Prime for $5.99 as opposed to $12.99. And I had heard about it a while ago, but I had never tried it out. Um, but I tried it out this time. I do have Amazon I have a Medicaid card as my supplement to my Medicare, so I sent that in and am getting Prime now for $5.99. So I did that later on in the month, and it is um, being included in this month's fixed expenses as well. So I'm going to add all those up. And I get 768.07, which is just slightly higher from the 763 that I originally planned on, and that's because of that second prime payment that came out. Now going forward next month, I will have that amount instead of the 12.99. There's always ways to um, lower your your um, your bills. You could always find ways to do that. I have already um, paid off, paid debts down or off, and added that up, and so I get three forty eight fifty four for the amount, which is exactly what I budgeted for. Now I'm going to go into my variable expenses. I have this all added up. For home supplies, I spent $35.05, which is less. I went over on groceries by about $100. I spent $347.86. I went over, way over, on eating out. Not quite a hundred dollars, but pretty close. That's just because instead of going to the grocery store or cooking, a lot of times I didn't feel like cooking. Um, I haven't really felt that well this past month. Um, and so we would just order delivery in instead of me cooking and ending up not feeling very well. Transportation, as I explained before in the mid-month check-in, is very, very low. Nowhere near my normal amount that I budget for that because the buses right now are not, um, they're not accepting money <clears throat> for bus rides. They got a stimulus payment of their own or a grant of some sort. And so all the rides are free and all that... This $3 is for is my son had a procedure and the, um, the hospital actually sent an Uber to pick us up for the procedure. And so I tipped the Uber driver the $3 out of cash that I had. Um, so that is where that $3 comes from. Uh, for me, myself, I spent $67.74 under. For my son, I spent $74.42. That includes his allowance. And that is under. For medical, I spent $34.05. That's mostly prescriptions. It's actually all prescriptions. Uh, and that is under. Now business, I went over. 
it's $92. There was a sale on planner supplies, and um, so therefore I spent money on, I spent $71.57 on planner supplies. There was a sale. I also get my teacher discount for being a homeschool teacher. Um, so I got a lot of planner supplies, um, and I include those in under business as opposed to um, stuff for myself because uh, I see I, I use planner supplies as a business ex expense. Um, so that is over by quite a lot. Let's see. Subscriptions is also over by quite a lot. I also, if you see on this page here, got Daily Burn for $49.95. That is a um, workout streaming. I got an email where they were taking $100 off an annual subscription to Daily Burn. And um, instead of it being $149.95, it was just $49.95 for a full year. I figured that that was a good um, deal, and I went ahead and took advantage of it. So that is why I'm over there. Laundry. I basically paid two months of my laundry bill, so it's right almost at what I um, what I budgeted for that so that's at 97.38 and again there's nothing to go out and do so my fund money is at zero so adding all these up I get one thousand twenty eight forty three. Which is seventy three forty three over. Which isn't bad, especially considering that I had the stimulus check and money that um, would not typically be available to me. I did not overspend in too many different areas. Okay, for my savings, um, I did at the... I decided a couple days ago that I was going to take whatever money that I had left over from the stimulus check and I was going to go ahead and put it into my um, my savings, my sinking funds, and my emergency account. So these are all slightly more. The Mesker Park sinking fund I did not add any extra to because that one is fully funded uh, that's for my yearly zoo membership so that one does not need any more money to it it's ready to um, be paid whenever the zoo does open back up uh, for travel I added a hundred dollars to that so it's actually 1633 for Yule I added a hundred to that so I put in 125. Uh, for education, I added another hundred dollars to that. So I paid 250. I mean 200 total. And then my emergency fund. This month total, I put 7027.05 plus 
75. Okay, so I put $1,226.80 into my emergency fund for this month. So this amount is going to change. The total, 22 plus 163 plus So the actual amount that I put into sinking funds and savings is 1736.80. don't need that anymore. So then I'm going to go and add up all of my totals. that up a little bit with the calculator. 768.07 plus 348.54 plus 028.43 plus 1736.8 equals. My total expenses now are 3000 881.84 my total income beginning balance plus my um, my income throughout the month is how I get my total income that I put over here so 2978.25 plus 1039.89. So when I add those together, I get $4,018.14. And subtracting the expenses, One thirty six thirty is what I should have left over. My actual cash left over is one hundred and sixteen. I am a little bit off by $20. Um, that could be miscalculation somewhere in here um, because it's it's exactly $20. So I probably missed a $20 somewhere miscalculating. But that is the actual cash leftover that I have. So that'll be the actual leftover will be my beginning balance for the month of June. Um, that's kind of my account cushion that I will keep is about a hundred dollars of an account cushion um, and that is my budget for the month of May if you have any questions leave them down in the comments below uh, let me know if you do anything differently or if you have any suggestions for future videos uh, otherwise I will see you soon thank you for watching take care love yourself and love others Bye-bye.